Hello, and welcome to a worm. Today we'll be looking at the anatomy of a worm. So this is the ventral side, or the stomach, and that is the dorsal side, or the back. You can see that the dorsal side is darker than the ventral side. Now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pin the worm diagonally across the dissection tray, first at the head, and then at the end of the tail. This makes sure that it doesn't move around too much when I dissect it. Alright, I'm going to fast forward the part where I open the worm up. Oh, whoops. Yeet. Now worms are segmented animals, and when I make the cut, you can see that there are these flaps attached to the skin that divide the worm into segments. These flaps are called the septum. A worm is an interesting animal to dissect because it's basically a tube within a tube. This can teach us a lot because you are also a tube within a tube. You have your digestive tract, which is your inner tube, and everything else around it, which is the outer tube. Now what I have revealed so far is the worm's intestine. If I cut up into its head, you can see more of the worm's internal structures. You'll see some silvery stuff catching on the edge of my scalpel. This is because this worm is covered by cling wrap. Well, no, this is called the cuticle. It's an outer layer of the worm that protects it from abrasion and from drying out. Near the very end of the worm's head is the brain. It's very hard to see because it has a very small brain. It's almost as small as mine. At the beginning of its digestive system is the pharynx, which is right here. The pharynx suctions food into the worm, which is important because food outside of the worm has an absolute 0% chance of being digested. Down here are the reproductive organs. Worms are hermaphrodites, which means they have both male and female reproductive organs. The male organs are the seminal vesicles, which produce sperm. And right here, the female organs are the seminal receptacles, which receive sperm, and are right here. Now, what's really interesting is what their eggs look like. So look it up for yourself. If you need extra incentive, I'll tell you worm eggs look like tiny lemons. Right now, I'm moving these reproductive organs aside. Right, so as I mentioned before, you have many things in common with a worm. For example, it has five hearts. These five hearts are called aortic arches, and you can see them right here, I'm tracing them. They're basically fancy versions of regular blood vessels that pump blood.
What's buried under all this is the esophagus, which connects the pharynx from before to the crop. The crop is like if you used a balloon as your lunchbox. If you poke it, it's soft. The worm uses its crop to store its food when it's eaten something, but just doesn't vibe with the rest of digestion yet. Next up is the gizzard. When I poke the gizzard, it barely moves. The gizzard has a thicker muscle lining than the crop because it does all the heavy lifting. It carries the entire digestive system on its metaphorical shoulders. The gizzard functions in mechanical digestion by contracting and grinding up the food inside it. Once the food leaves the gizzard, it enters this long intestine. The intestine is where the nutrients from the food are absorbed, and it's really long. It's really long. Focus. It's really long. There we go. So that more nutrients can be absorbed before the food gets kicked out. Now I'm going to look at where the intestine was cut open. Let's look at what's inside. It's dirt. All of it's dirt. Earthworms eat dirt. I don't know what else to tell you. Finally, when I move aside the intestine, you can see the dorsal nerve cord here. This white string-like thing. I'm going to try to pull it up. So this dorsal nerve cord is basically the spinal cord of the worm. Aight, that's the end of our earthworm dissection. Thank you for staying, peeps. Here's a worm fact to send you on your way. On an average farm with livestock, the weight of the worms beneath the surface of the land likely outweighs the livestock that walk on top. Earthworms can eat their weight in food every day. How much do livestock weigh? How much do you weigh?